So we're gonna get started with the Elvar Bridge. Uh, so this was added uh, to the Alpha and Beta 9.10.7 uh, on December 28th. So I'm gonna follow the instructions. It says uh, add the Elvar Bridge. So we got to unzip game plugin slash spad dot next uh, MS MS FS bridge uh, to the community folder. First things first, I guess we need to go into uh, our spad folder. So under program files, spad dot next uh, game plugins. Then we're going to find the spad dot next msfs uh, bridge dot zip and we want to drag that folder into our community folder highly recommend once you find this so it's under your you know your c drive users uh, your username in my case my username is user app data local packages microsoft flight simulator a whole bunch of garbly gook local cache then under packages, you've got the official in the community. So what I did was uh, I right clicked on packages and I created uh, a shortcut um, or uh, you right click on it and you send to desktop create shortcut. So I did that making my life uh, a little bit easier getting back and forth to this because this is where you got to go, especially when you want to add stuff to the community folders. All right, back into it. Packages, community. Take this, don't do my mistake. Don't unzip the whole thing. This is where I got caught. Uh, it ended up with a spad.next msfs bridge folder, then the spad bridge. Let's go ahead, drag that in. Now inside of that, it's got the SPAD bridge. And we're gonna go ahead, hop in the sim. We'll see you in a moment. Hop on over to my GPS 530. We will turn on that mode. And we've got our FPL button. So here, what we did on the flight plan button is we mapped by coming in easy to jump in and what we're doing is we are uh, sending a simulation event so configure simulation event now on the Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 we've got access to the Garmin G1000, Garmin 3000, labeled as a Sobo 1000, a Sobo 3000, 430, and 530. So here on the PFD, so I went into the 1000 for the DA52, I went to PFD, and I found our AS1000 PFD flight plan push. So the flight plan button, and I added that to my button on my uh, on my controller. Notice I've got my Lego block enabled, so enable programming mode. So right away, what you're gonna notice as well is when I click my rotary encoder to the right. So the way spaddeck.next has implemented these items, this is considered the upper encoder this is considered the lower. So other terminology, upper would have been inner or inner knob and lower spad.next would have been considered outer knob. So for your inner encoder or the small knob, you wanna use the upper encoder so there's upper encoder increase upper decrease so small knob turning to the left uh, i went with uh, upper decrease on the knob map to the bigger ring uh, there's my fms lower increase and on the negative side that is the lower decrease and the push button 
is set to PFD MFS upper push. What you can see is as we click on the knob, selects it, inner knob is changing, outer knob is doing what it's supposed to do, inner knob is selecting, it is working. The Elvar bridge installed, we've tested it with a couple of buttons. Flight plan works just as one would expect. And that's it. Easy, gets you going, get the Elvar bridge installed. That is the first step. Don't forget to join us on the next video where we're going to make the VR Insight GPS 5 configuration and publish it. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day. See you guys next time.